Basic Blueprint Reading for Welders, The Language of Lines, Part 1, Gary Pace, P-E-C-W-I, TexasWeldingEngineering.com. Basic Blueprint Reading by Rick Costin. I scavenged this book from him. It's uh, Open Oregon. I guess it was written, it's an open source book for community colleges out in Oregon. So I'm just giving, telling you where I scavenged this, and then I scavenged some of it for from How to Read Blueprints, the U.S. Navy book on blueprint reading. But this is an entry-level blueprint reading book written for the first-year welding student. Here's where you can find it, openoregon.pressbooks.pub, blueprint. If you just type in basic blueprint reading, open Oregon in Google, it'll bring you to it. We're going to start with um, Chapter 2, The Language of Lines. Okay, so today we're going to talk about object lines, hidden lines, section lines, center lines, dimension lines, and extension lines. An object line. The object line is a heavy, dark, unbroken line which identifies the visible edges of the drawn object or the surface of an object. So if we're looking at this block, the only lines that we're going to show as dark objects are object lines. So we're going to look at those and be like, oh, that's an object line. Um, these are the ones that we can see. A lot of this is um, visualization. You're going to have to get good at visualizing 3D objects in two dimensions. And that's why we use these lines to do that. Okay, this is a hidden line. So these are the lines that we can't see from the view we're looking at. So the hidden line is used to show features or edges of an object that is not visible. It is a broken line of medium thickness. So these are the objects that are the lines on an object that we can't see from the view. So we know they're there, but we've got to represent them. But if we put them as an object line, it would make things ultra confusing. Well, how can we see that line? So in our grammar or our language of lines, we use hidden lines, which are dashed lines to show um, features that we can't see from that direction or view. We're going inter to inter interject a couple more um, vocabulary terms into our vernacular, into our little vocabulary that we're going to use. We're going to use top view, front view, and side view. So this one, we're just going to use the top view and the front view. So you can see on our block that if we've got the top view, that's the one where I've got the yellow lines, those dashed lines, the hidden lines kind of blocked out or blocked out in yellow. That means we're looking down on it. But if you look at it from the front view, you can see where I've got the purple and blue. That's a notch that's cut out of this block. We can see it from the side, but if we turn the object 90 degrees and look at it from the top, we can't see that notch. We know the notch is there, but we can't see it. So we use a um, a dashed line of medium thickness to represent that line, something, a feature that we can't see from that view. So that's what we call a hidden line. We have section lines. A section line is used to show a cut surface of an object in section views. So like if we had a block and we wanted to show something on the inside of that block, we would take a slice through it and then we would be looking at it um, from the inside. Um, these are fine dark lines. Various types of section lines may indicate different material cut by the cutting plane line. So sometimes if you're building things out of brick, wood, steel, concrete, whatever, they've got different section lines. But for the most part, we're not going to mess with it. So these little diagonal lines, those are called section lines. Here's a center line. We use center lines um, to locate the center of features. So you'll mostly see this on holes. If we need to drill a hole in something, holes don't have edges. Circles don't have edges. So we can't measure off of an edge of a block six inches to an edge of a circle and expect to have any kind of accuracy because there's no edge to the circle. But circles do have a center. So that's why we use a center line. So the center line is used to locate the center of features. It is usually a fine broken line made of alternating 
short and long dashes. So it's a, it's a dashed line, but it's a different dashed line than when we have a hidden line. Here's another example of a center line. You can see the one in blue that I've got down there. Um, center lines are used to indicate centers of holes, arcs, symmetrical objects. They're very thin in size. Um, they use long, short, long kinds of dashes in the lines. And they're used to indicate symmetry about an axis and location of centers. So we, when we want to drill holes, we use center lines. You know, where's the center of this hole? And we usually have, you know, coming off of two different points in an X and a Y axis. So these are center lines. Here we've got a dimension line. Dimension lines are thin and are used to show the actual size of an object. There are arrowheads at both ends that terminate at the extension lines. So dimension lines and extension lines go together. So the dimension line is just that line with the arrows and the number in between. That's a dimension line. But the little lines at the end, those are called extension lines. We'll get into this here in a second. Extension lines. I got the extension lines outlined here in green. Those just come off the edge of an object and they extend an object out. Um, they don't touch the object, but they line up with it. So it gives us an idea of the dimension of a part. And when I say a dimension, I mean a length. Or it could be an angle, or it could be a radius. Um, there's a lot of different dimensions, but we use the term dimension. And that's an extension line. Extension lines are also thin lines showing the limits of dimensions. Dimension line arrowheads touch the extension lines. So extension lines and dimension lines work together. Um, here's another picture of dimension lines and extension lines. Um, dimension lines are used to show the extent of a dimension. How big is something? 143 feet or is it 6 inches? Or is it 6 millimeters? Extension lines are used to extend a point from an object. So we just bring that line of the edge of a block or something, we bring it out so that then our dimension line we can see, oh, that's, that's where we're at as far as this length. Uh, the dimension line is a thin line broken in the middle to allow for the placement of dimension, a dimension value with arrowheads at each end. Uh, an extension line extends a line on an object to the dimension line. So here's yet another example. The extension line is in red. You can see that it doesn't touch the object. And then our dimension line is circled there in blue. It does touch the extension line. Here's an example of some uh, of a drawing of some sort you can see that we've you know got extension lines dimension lines it's a block we've got a lot of different stuff going on here so um, just an example for it and here we've got what we've covered today we've covered object lines hidden lines section lines center lines dimension lines and extension lines more on this in the next episode all right we'll talk to you later